The history of Islam is full of strange and shocking incidents. Sometimes valor and bravery to the death, and sometimes betrayal and hypocrisy, and being on the enemy's side. Judging these historical facts requires a lot of study and research. The marvelous story of Ibrahim ben Malik Ashtar is also one of these cases. If you want to know why Ibrahim pledged allegiance to Musab, the killer of Mutar, and what happened to Ibrahim in the end, please stay with us until the end of the video. Hello there, lovely friends. I hope you're doing well. Please subscribe to our channel before watching this video, and click the bell button to be notified of new videos. Please like and share this video to show your support. Ibrahim ben Malik Ashtar Nukai, nicknamed Abu al Numan, is son of Malik Ashtar from the Nukia tribe, which is an affiliate of the Mazaj tribe. Mazaj tribe is one of the largest and most famous tribes in Yemen. This tribe fought more drastic against the enemy than all other tribes. They settled in Kufa after the martyrdom of Imam al E. There is no literal information about the birth year of Ibrahim bin Malik. But based on the fact that he was a teenager, in the Battle of Safi, it turns out that he was born between 15 and 21 AD. It has been said about Ibrahim that he was a brave, warrior and courageous man. He was the boss and defender of his tribe, and he had a great nature and a great effort, and he was a supporter of truth and right. He had an oratorial language and a sweet-spoken poet and he was a fan and friend of Al al-Bayt. Ibn Juzi, one of the Sunnid scholars, says, Ibrahim bin Ashtar had a copacetic, imposing and absorbent voice. There is no information about Ibrahim's life, before he joined Muqtar Thaqafi, except that it is said that he fought with Muawiyah, in the War of Safim as one of the comrades of Hazrat Ali, and next to his father Malik Ashtar. In the year 66-685 AD, Mukhtar Thakafi, who called himself the delegate of Muhammad ibn Hanafiyah, was preparing the supplies for the revolt against the Umayyads, asking for the blood of the martyrs of Karbala. At this time, some of the Shiites of Kufa, who were adherent of the Mukhtar revolt called Ibrahim, to the revolt because of Ibrahim's strong personality, and because of the memory of his father's loyalty to Hazrat Ali. Ibrahim agreed to their request on the condition that they choose him as the leader, but the Shiites reminded that Muqtar Thakfi was chosen as a leader by Ibn Hanafiyah. A little later, Muqtar went to Ibrahim and handed him the letter that he maintained Muhammad bin Hanafiyah had written to Ibrahim. In this letter, Ibrahim was asked to collaborate with Muqtar in the revolt against the Umayyads. In the beginning, Ibrahim doubted the rectitude of ascription it to Ibn Hanafiya, due to a point he found in the way the letter was written. But when people like Yazid bin Anas Asadi and Abdullah bin Kamal Sheikh reaffirmed that, they had seen that letter written by Muhammad bin Hanafiya to Ibrahim, he accepted the call to uprising, and pledged allegiance to Muqtar. It was agreed between Ibrahim and Muqtar, that they would leave Kufa, in the middle of Rabi al Awal 66 October 685 AD, but since the preparations were not ready on the said date, they postponed the beginning of the insurgency, to Thursday after the middle of the same month. Therefore, Muqtar settled in Kufa and tried to fight against, the Umayyads and the killers of Imam Hussein by taking control of other Iraqi cities. However, when he gave the mansion of Mosul to Ibrahim bin Malik Ashtar and encouraged him to battle with Ubaidullah bin Ziyad, who was headed towards Iraq by Abdul Malik bin Marwan, in Duhaizja, 66 July 686 AD, some Kufis attacked him. So Ibrahim returned quickly and together with Mukhtar, during a series of wars, they repressed the rioters of Kufa. After repressing the Kufian sedition, Ibrahim left Kufa with men, most of whom were Iranian grandee known as Al-Hamra, to battle with Ibn Ziyad. 
In this war, Ibrahim bin Malik killed Hussein bin Namir, Sharabal bin Dil Alcala, and many others who were all the criminals and responsibles of the Karbala incident. Most important of all, the honor of killing Ibn Ziyad was given to Ibrahim. He sent the heads of nobles and elders of Bani Ibn away to Mutar. Mutar was very happy and ordered to install the heads in the place of Dar al Mara, where the heads of the martyrs of Karbala were installed. Then Mutar sent their heads to Muhammad Hanafiya and Imam Sajjad. Muhammad Hanafiya and Imam Sajjad also prayed for him. After this win, Ibrahim when to Mosul and was still there, when Musab bin Zubair invaded to Kufa, and killed him in a war with Mukhtar. But why did Ibrahim swear allegiance to Mukhtar's killer? The marvelous point of this story, is that Musab, after killing Mukhtar, asked Ibrahim to obey Abdullah bin Zubair. According to Ibn Athir, Abd al-Malik bin Marwan from Syria, also called Ibrahim to obey him, but Ibrahim was afraid to join Abd al-Malik, because he had killed Ubaidullah bin Ziyad, and several nobles of Syria in the war with the Umayyads. He responded positively to Musab's invitation. Musab deputed the reign of Mosul to Ibrahim. After that, Ibrahim remained in the position of his reign until Abdul Malik bin Marwan invaded to Iraq. Musab bin Zubair confront with them and made Ibrahim the commander of his army. Abd al Malik bin Marwan, who was seeking to lure the rulers of Kufa and Basra, wrote a letter to Ibrahim and promised him the reign of the Iraqis and, in other words, the grant of the lands around the Euphrates. But Ibrahim did not accept. that happened between Ibrahim ibn Ashtar and Muhammad ibn Marwan, one day before the main battle between Abdul Malik and Musab, ibn Ashtar despite showing great bravery, retreated due to the betrayal of some of his entourage, who apparently had made a retreat, with Abdul Malik based on a previous underplot. He was defeated and killed. Then they cut off Abraham's head and burned his body. Historians disagree on the date of Ibrahim's murder. Although Ibn Athir and Tabari have mentioned, the year 71 690 AD based on one exemplum, most historians have correctly considered the year 72 A, and most probably Jamadi Alihar, of the same year as the date of this incident. The sepulchre of Ibrahim bin Malik is located in the south of Dajil city, eight farsakhs from Samarra, and it was a shrine site for Shiites. This shrine was destroyed by terrorist groups in 2005. Thank you for watching this video all up to the end. If you enjoyed it, please like it and subscribe to receive notifications of new videos by clicking the subscribe button and the bell next to it.